Hello, my name is Liam Gallagher, and this is a really quick tutorial on how to speed run level four, enter the Octo Roller. Um, so these tutorials are meant for people who have a little bit of experience playing Splatoon. Maybe you play competitively and you already know how to get your squid around, uh, but maybe speedrunning is new to you. Okay, so we're gonna go through the level step by step, and I'll show you the strats that'll help you get speed running Splatoon. All right, so the first section here is pretty straightforward. You're just going to want to send a curler down right to the super jump pad. First section done. You made it. Okay. So these little bundles of pink things are called Rinoleum or Rollnoleum. I don't know. It's a, it's a pun. All you want to do is you want to swim down and shoot it so that it breaks those crates. Um, if you go as soon as you appear on the super jump or on the checkpoint over there, you don't really need to worry about the timing for this guy. You can just barrel right forward and you'll be fine. Swim up here and make sure not to do a tournament winner. We've talked about this before, but don't do that because that is very slow. Do something like that. And then here you'll have the same situation. The, uh, the direction that this goes depends upon the angle that you're facing. Uh, so you want to line up as best as you can the target on the wall Right in order to go straight, so then you swim and Then again with the tournament winner we talked about before greats have a weird property where uh, The collision detection on the game will try to put you on one side or the other um, So if you're slightly too far up, but still in the grate, it'll pop you up. That's a little faster Okay, super jump time Alright, so you hit that. Note, you don't want to go uh, all the way up and go wee, even though it's kind of fun to do that. It, uh, it's not actually very fast. So you want to get out as, as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, then we've got these three guys up there. Uh, dealing with manipulating the uh, enemy's AI is a little advanced, but the easy thing to do here is just to throw a curler down this angle, making sure to avoid this box to get you there. That would get their attention, shoot them as they come down, and then ink that wall so you can go up that in one row. All right? That's similar to another wall that we climbed in, I think, level three. Okay, same thing here with the linoleum. You want to hit it down the line. It'll send these two guys coming towards you. Dispatch them, fire up before they come down, and uh, while you're uh, inking the rocket dudes, you can try to hit this little gusher, this little manhole cover. And again, you want to get off uh, fairly quickly there. So you don't have to go flopping all through the air. All right, so in this next section, the place that you're trying to end up is just below uh, this octo hurler, I think they're called. Uh, but I don't really know what anything in this game is named. So it's tempting to shoot these things, but it's actually gonna be slower to do that. You just want to send a curler straight down and then pick a pattern to dispatch these guys with. You're slightly further on the right hand side, so I think it's easier to start with that guy, but there you go. Uh, so you would want to send a curler down here, swim forward, one, two, three. And you might have noticed that as I was going through, I'm continuing to move forward. So as I'm shooting, I'm sidestepping, right? Which will require you to do a slight rocking motion uh, as you move your camera around. Um, so it's just a little optimization that you want to keep in mind that even when you're shooting you can be running Okay, so then the next thing and you get Okay, so for this next section uh, We're gonna draw a line about where I'm shoot pointing my reticle at right now Up this ramp to where the another manhole cover geyser thing is is hitting so that's that's your racing line as it were um so first, you're going to be swimming down here you're going to shoot him, but you want to be able to get your curler on an angle that it can just barely clip the edge here and still make it up and over. Uh, that way you'll be able to swim directly into the geyser. <laughs> Never had quite had to do it this way. Uh, so if, if you run straight away, uh, you won't really have to worry about the timing. It just sort of works out if, you, uh, if you're quick about it. But you throw it up like that, sort of hops the corner, and 
in a natural run, I would have been a little bit further forward. And you can see where it would have blown up and hit there. Okay, so same sort of situation here. Um, you can throw a curler, you can uh, use your uh, splatter shot. Uh, they're gonna be about the same, whatever you're comfortable with at this point. We're not trying to get world records yet. So you swing up, ink, and then you make sure not to do your tournament runner, tournament winner. Okay. So then at this point, if you're doing this at a fairly good good pace, the uh, center platform here will just be passing over to the left. But regardless of where it is, it's usually safer to go somewhere in the middle. Arrive, ink, jump up. And then again, if you're doing this, this route nice and consistently, you'll be able to throw that curler on a pretty similar angle. But it's not too hard to uh, just play it by ear as soon as you get up there and pick a short line that'll get you into the super jump pad, and then off you go. Okay, so this section is a bit of a gauntlet. Um, but that being said, don't get worried about all the throngs of enemies. Uh, as you'll see, I'm just going to barge right ahead. So curler, shoot, up I get, curler, shoot, up I get, curler. <laughs> All right, then just a curl forward here, up I get. Just a straight line. And then here, this is the last thing you gotta do. So the curler down, grab the zap, that's you're done. So that's that level there's there's not too much special or fancy going on in this one there's just good bread and butter sort of like you know potatoes level good solid mechanics nice movement not doing anything fancy just get it done uh, the best player will get the best time don't overthink it kind of thing all right well thanks so much for watching this tutorial my name is Liam uh, have a good day